Well, hello internets, here we are. Have ourselves a little bit of a unboxing and sort of uh, first impressions of a desktop easel. Now, for the last couple of years, I've had a bit of a hobby doing some um, painting in the wintertime. And I have resisted the urge to buy an easel because I never really needed one. However, with uh, a couple of things going on, I find myself uh, needing to uh, get down toward the, uh, well, painting surface. And an easel is a little more easier to do than being hunched over and trying to do the work. So went on the old uh, internet, found me uh, an easel that was fairly affordable. Kind of clicked on it, paid for it, and well, the magic of uh, online shopping, here we are now. So let's tear into it and see what she looks like. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should use a knife, but I can't seem to find my uh, my trusty knife, so I'm stabbing myself with a pair of scissors. So when she got her open, I find myself some bubble wrap wrapped around the easel itself. Uh, looks like I got her upside down. Flip her right side up and uh, slide the bubble wrap off. Now it looks like there's uh, potentially some assembly uh, needed. There should be a little wooden bar that goes across here. There doesn't appear to be very much um, finish on here like clear coat or stain, but you know, that's, uh, that's no biggie. First impressions going around it, it looks, well, looks like what I am looking for. So by undoing these uh, little buckles here, similar to a suitcase or briefcase, you got a kind of a leatherish, plasticky leatherish kind of handle here. You can open up and get access to the inside. So when you open her up, you see the inside of the uh, case here. You have some wooden dividers that you can put inside to separate your uh, paints and uh, brushes if you choose. You have the uh, other wooden uh, rest here with uh, little wing nuts that you can attach or detach for uh, transport. This is what your canvas rests on. And a wonderful uh, do not eat uh, silica packet. So I will assemble the uh, easel here and then uh, we'll see how it works. So once you've attached the uh, canvas uh, rest bar and uh, undone the wing nut and reversed the uh, top edge of the canvas holder, it's essentially time to have a look at the mechanical uh, operation of this here easel. Now of course with the with the easel doesn't come any accessories however you can store like I mentioned earlier your paint brushes your paints um, if you're into uh, drawing pencil crayons um, markers whatever in here you can even uh, get creative and find little storage bins that'll fit inside here but when you go to adjust the angles that you want the canvas to uh, be at when you're using it, you can use these little wing nuts here to adjust the angle. These uh, wing nuts right here, there's one on each side of the easel. By tilting the easel back and then tightening the wing nuts, you can get the angle that you desire. 
So once you got the angle that you so desire all set and everything good to go, you uh, put your canvas on the uh, easel here in whatever orientation you choose using the uh, canvas holder uh, to uh, keep it in place. Then you can do your painting, drawing and such here. Now they say that it'll hold up to a 20 inch canvas. Right now I have a 16 wide by 20 on it and as you can see it uh, holds it fairly well. And when you turn the canvas the other way, as you see now, it does fit on there. And if you're doing anything that you don't want the canvas to run away on you, you can tighten down the wing nut on the back and it'll kind of pinch the canvas in between the top bar and the bottom bar. Okay, some of the specs of this here uh, easel are about uh, 10 and a half or so wide about 14 or so inches long and about three and a quarter or so tall without the uh, canvas resting bars or about four inches if you have the bars attached should fit in most luggage um, you know kind of a small portable you can take it to the park if you want to do painting if you're doing a painting class you can do uh, painting classes and such now some of the online reviews of this here product say that there is some craftsmanship discrepancies and as I look around here I do see some you know craftsmanship uh, discrepancies but for for the most part you do get what you pay for keep in mind where you're buying it from if you're buying it from an authentic uh, supplier of you know artistic supplies then you may get a better quality when you're buying from online sites sometimes you do get cheaper quality products however if you're not a so-called professional artist there's nothing wrong with buying supplies that may not be a hundred percent to perfection grade now one of the things that I uh, have a question about that I'm actually going to email the person I bought it from is according to the online uh, ad this was supposed to be a kit, meaning that there should be paints and brushes, uh, a pencil, a notepad, I think even some pastels in here. But as you guys seen, when we pulled it out of the package and opened it, there was absolutely nothing inside. This stuff, once again, that you see inside is my own stuff that I put in here for demonstration purposes. Now it's no real biggie that uh, they're not in here because well most of the stuff I probably wouldn't really use and if I did use it would be um, on a, a secondary basis. However if the cost of the unit factors in the the items that were so called in the kit then well you know it's it's only fair that I get the items that I bought. On a scale of 1 to 10, um, I probably give this easel a good 9.5. Upon first impressions, everything is here, everything is there. You know, the hardware is a little bit uh, uh, not quite smooth when you're adjusting it. Sometimes the surface slips a little bit that you got to retighten things. Um, once again, it would have been nice if it would have included those items just so the ad was accurate. But once again, you do get what you pay for, for buying online compared to buying from an actual authentic art supply uh, dealer. But this has been an unboxing, a little bit of a first review of a wooden art easel box. Check back in the future when I've used this a little bit and see what has broke, what has uh, not broke, what has stood up 
kind of my thoughts on this here unit in the future. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.